Everybody, welcome back for another round of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you enjoyed this series, consider pushing those like and subscribe buttons. And now let's get into this episode. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Alright, we got Dutch in our head. Let's see where these thoughts lead us. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. Alright, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. What did you do, Mr. Geddes, to have your wife so upset? Let's find out. Mr. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Something tells me it's not gonna be a an quiet and uneventful night. Oh yeah. <laughs> was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh wow, riding out in pajamas, huh? They got Dickens! Over by the stables! Get the cattle! Out of here! Over. Take this rich man's body. You boys! I'll... Okay. Who's this? New oh. hand? I love how the other guys are uh, standing around waiting for me to finish. <laughs> okay, turn two. We don't have any weapons though right now. Hopefully we can grab something off of them. They've killed Mr. Tobert and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Loud and clear. No choice. Okay. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Well, this time we really don't have a choice, so... This is going to be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is going to be fun. Finally, we get to do some legitimate shooting. I guess there will be much more to come, but up to now, this prologue has been, uh, yeah, pretty quiet. Man, this is, weirdly enough, a quiet and very beautiful night to ride through and uh, <laughs> with the purpose of murdering people. Probably those purple flowers. Your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. 
That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and by a minute or two, we mean hey! right now. <laughs> hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Now we'll see about who gets a hole in whose head. <laughs> oh man, so much fun getting to use that eye again. Been waiting so many missions for a proper shooting mission. And my aim is a bit off, as you can tell. Probably being rusty from all those, uh, I don't know, ranch works. Oh Jesus, these guys didn't uh, didn't circle around as I told them to. But to be fair, I uh, went much quicker than they expected too, so I didn't really give them time to do what I asked them to do. I love the music that's playing in the background, by the way. It's not very often that we get that uh, epic music. Really nice. Hell, Jim, you can shoot. I ain't got time to look at you, kid. Yes, I can shoot. <laughs> if only you knew how much shooting I've done throughout this game. That's a bad business, Jim. Oh man, that. All those, all that wood getting in the, in my way of the shooting. But I ain't no fans gonna stop me. <laughs> Let's advance. It's nice when you're not alone on a mission, because you can do the flanking. Like I'm letting my guys usually distract them, and then I can go and attack from the sides. But you can see the enemies are quite smart sometimes. They do uh, retreat and get back to a position where they are not flanked anymore. Not that it makes any difference. <laughs> they're, just, they're still getting a bullet to the head, each one of them. I got lucky there. You know, one of the uh, guilty pleasures in this game is looking at the minimap and seeing all those X's lying around. <laughs> and also this camera, man, I love this camera. He's gonna jump me, isn't he? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Spawning right behind me. I hope we kill this guy. I wouldn't want him to come back and uh, harass Abigail or Jack. I probably shouldn't say things like that, but uh, yeah, for this guy, yeah, I, I really hope he is not left standing at the end of this. Man, what the heck is going on? I cannot block. Come on, then. Like, I keep blocking and still his attacks go through sometimes. It is what happens when somebody holds a knife, by the way, but yeah, not in fist fights. In fist fights, I should be able to block everything pretty much. Ah, 
Finally, Jesus. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand! That guy ain't not cut out for diplomacy. <laughs> I mean, where there's a double barrel shotgun staring right down your throat, you do not, uh, <laughs> you do not provoke a man. But okay, you know what? He gave me a reason to shoot him, which is fine by me. I actually did want to shoot him. <laughs> All right, now I guess we just ride back. I, re I thought we'd had to uh, gather the cattle and ride with them back, but I guess that's the job for another hand, not me. I am officially the uh, protector of this ranch, I guess, from now on. <laughs> Man, I love riding at night. So peaceful. You're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight. But how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything? You fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. All right, now we're gonna hear it from Abigail, obviously. <laughs> what? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Well, he is actually right this time, you know, Abigail. <laughs> if he had turned down this job, he would probably be gone from this ranch. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Oh man, I got Arthur's voice telling me the same thing that Abigail does. 